In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Good morning to all ladies and gentlemen within all the politicians across the globe. This is Shahzad Mirwali Khan. And uh, today is 14th August 2019 that I have decided to visualize um, a little bit of what we have heard about the Day of Judgment uh, to all politicians around the globe. Uh, of course, many of you uh, know that, that my night vision goggle case uh, made in America uh, has involved seven countries. Uh, and uh, the countries that uh, were closely involved in this case were Iran, United States of America, uh, Austria, uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates, then it goes to Cyprus, then Germany, and Oman, uh, for which I have made uh, a documentary which is called The Bride of the World on my YouTube channel. You may just watch it out to get some understanding about what I have to say about this case. Anyhow, based on the news that is going on, that the foolish game that America, Iran and United Kingdom are playing and every morning we wake up, we hear some uh, horrific news about like the war is coming, which is going to be the World War III if it happens. We all know that. Uh, I decided uh, to remind you with uh, something that uh, since our childhood in any religion, uh, we have heard about it and it was called the Day of Judgment. So, uh, in order to visualize uh, the Day of Judgment for all unbelievers, uh, between all politicians, regardless to the fact that uh, I'm not sure if I would be alive tomorrow or not, uh, but uh, I am going to uh, show you how it's gonna happen, I mean what we are facing on the Day of Judgment, and it has come to a time that you might sit back a little bit and look whatsoever you have done. Uh, there was somebody called God, uh, that I call him Allah, that he was watching you and us, every human beings. And every single action or talks or words that uh, has come out of our mouth or the thoughts in our brain or our heart had a witness who was God. And although behind the closed door, by politics, by diplomacy, by a lot of secret activities, uh, you are confident that you have covered up every places and there is no way that nation and people around the globe uh, would know the truth behind the scene, behind the political games. I want to just make you believe that uh, Wallah al -Azim, this day of judgment is true. And uh, on that day, it's gonna be like this. Just be prepared for that day that uh, I would be standing there waiting for you to answer my own question as uh, the witness who was involved in many political cases and will testify to my Lord Allah on that day against you. Let's start with this one. While I was incarcerated in American federal prisons, of course, I did write so many letters to many politicians, all the at, um, all um, different organizations of American government, which I used to write a lot to Miss Hillary Clinton, that by then 
She was uh, the Secretary of State of, in America. And as much as I wrote her many letters that the content would be known to public in close future, in one day, Miss Clinton has sent me this card in, uh, it was in Minnesota, FCI Minnesota prison, that I received it, which was like a remain silent card and don't talk too much. That's okay. On response to this letter that I received it from Miss Hillary Clinton, on 30th July 2011, I wrote her a letter reference appreciation in your response of 13th July 2011. I wrote their performance you may never have thought possible from Shahrzad to Miss Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, and blah, blah. So the first page, it was appreciation of their errors and everything that, that they have done. And when we turn the page, I wrote her, please allow me to remind you with existence of a supreme power of the universe, who is God, and I call him Allah. Then please remember, all you might have uh, possibly heard. Uh, then please remember all you might have possibly heard during your childhood about the Messiah and the day of the judgment. So try to close your eyes and imagine for a second here is the day of judgment, and I'm standing in front of you and God to testify what you have done to my own self on this earth while I'm asking you. One, do you believe you can cheat on God in the same way that you cheated on me? Two, do you believe God was on vacation or sleeping or have completely forgotten about you and went blind to your deeds? Three, do you believe you are just eyewitnessing a nightmare and you can go back to correct your evil deeds while it is real and there is no more way back for unbelievers. Now, open your eyes and uh, breathe well. Remember about nightmare and get prepared to answer me regarding this political NVG3 case that, one, didn't I send you a copy of my petition for rehearing in bank? Two, didn't I warn you that I do not play political games? Three, didn't I write you over and over that Iran Ayatollahs are supporter of terrorists? Four, didn't I file all above in your own courtroom? Five, why did you punish me of being against Iran Ayatollahs? Six, why did you destroy my beautiful life with my children? Seven, why did you waste all my young age in your federal garbage cans that even if one of them like FCI Wasika is kept clean, yet it is filled by trashes of American society equals criminal inmates. Eight, how are you going to pay back my children's past seven years joy and happiness that they could have uh, had it with their mother while US government took it away from them? Nine, can you play back time and make me 28 years old with Malika and Melina nine years old? 10. Do you really deserve a second chance? Kind regards. 
this was what I wrote to Miss Hillary Clinton. It was, uh, what do they call it, attested. My signature was attested by notary of the prison. And it was sent, a copy was sent to President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, uh, President A.M.A.M. Calmary, Queen B. Van Orange, via Iranian interest section, Embassy of Switzerland, Embassy of Royal Netherlands. Therefore, this is something that when I want to visualize a little bit the existence of God and the Day of Judgment, in reality right now, I would refer to my own past writings. And you have to come and state how did you deny it. Here, I'm going to read out one of the notice, just one of the notice that I have sent it to all embassies in United States of America, 187 embassies. And I heard nothing, nothing can happen. I kept writing all these politicians, your employees, to forward my messages to you uh, and uh, tell you, listen, time is the most important thing that Iran Ayatollahs need uh, just support me and assist me to stop them to save the world uh, but of course every one of your employees or yourself that heard about me my letters and my writings because of those maybe because of those religious claims that I have put that everybody in prison does that uh, first thing, you called me crazy. Second thing, uh, if you reviewed the letters, you might have taken some, some part of it seriously. But in, in reality, you did not take any action. Third, when even up to this date, up to this date, I seek for your support against terrorism, you all sat back, you all laughed, and you said, oh, who is she? Who is she? What is her position in any government? What is her role in politics? What does she know about politics? Who cares what Shahrazad would say? Who cares? what Shahrazad have written to us and we just trashed it, we just put it aside and we ignored it. Let her do everything in her power, but she cannot succeed because we are acting almighty gods and there is no God and there is no day of judgment, there is no Messiah, there is no witness, there is nothing. This is us who got the power to control the world. So I'm just reading this out to tell you, forget about this word. Right now, imagine that you entered a war uh, for the sake of oil and money and power and uh, assume that you have exploded the planet of Earth and we are all dead standing in front of my almighty lord allah and there this is going to be read out to all of you all of you and at my part i am freely testifying and telling to my lord lord you have been my witness Whatever I should have done, I've done it. I wrote them, I told them, I informed them, and my duty was just to inform them. Whatever they have done to my writings and the things that I, the information that I gave them, it's not my problem what action they took and how they acted. In front of you, you know that. I'm done. Once it was delivered to them, 
this is not my problem if they are standing here and they say oh we didn't know oh we received her book but we didn't we never had time to read it i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen my duty was to deliver this to you whatever you have done you are held responsible for your past actions in the same way that i am now let me finish this wish you good luck and inshallah inshallah as you never supported me here in this world uh, just visualize the day of judgment for hereafter and remember there is no way of denial of these ones on that day okay this is uh this notice was filed in case number 09-22762-civ-moreno dash dash and in united states district court southern district of florida and it had a cover page you know i always talk or write in poem language so if you didn't have understanding of the meaning of this one i'm sorry it's your problem not my problem any longer ah, well it was not ever my problem and i read this part of it dear ignorant people please wake up and i understand that i have come to you to save the world and human's life which includes you by yourself too instead of working so hard to make up things and go against me please wake up and take care of the end of the world in the way that muslim religion rulers and politicians and evil scientists has prepared it for you did you cra uh, keep track of how many letters that i sent to all countries embassies did you review my case to know that my ex-husband was supposed to deliver the NVG tree to the Iranian embassy in Vienna, Austria? Did you get to know that the NVG tree case was supposed uh, uh, NVG tree was supposed to be forwarded to Iran via a political package? I meant diplomat package. Did you read carefully? all my filings with your own courtrooms now answer me number one how much amount of the same material that made abdul mutalib's terror bomb could have been imported via a political package by iran government and their undercover troops around the world to all the countries around the world since the last nine years. The date of this uh, letter was on, let me say this one, uh, was on 30th December 2009. Remember this one and do your own calculations. Two. Where are all the bombs located and who can access to those to blow up the earth by their timings? By their timing, not your timing. What is your solution for the following fact and not theory? One, Iran attacks Israel with their Shahab 6 nuclear missile, missiles. Two, Korea attacks USA with their nuclear missiles. Three, Al-Qaeda plus Hezbollah plus Hamas attack all the countries around the world with their special handmade bombs that can be carried in the underwear of anyone around the globe at homes, schools, mosques, churches, hospitals, airports, desert, and nuclear plants locations. Seas and cargoes or tourist ships, roads and moving or parked cars. 
Why did you try to block my way to save the world? One conclusion only. If you still choose to go against me for any other minute, because time was important and all Iran regime needed was timing, then you are terrorist supporters and anti-human beings. However, if you wake up immediately to, uh, to become part of my army on this earth, uh, and me and you will be united, then we have our God equal Allah, equal Hashem, to support us and let us win last battle with devil plus Satan one and Satan two and deliver this unfaithful generation to the messengers promised peace on earth by her Allah and avoid evil animals in the shape of human beings sent our beautiful fatherless land of the earth to their temporary political peace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a sample of my past writings. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, that during my life on earth here, I've done everything and it's all on flash drives everywhere, all of these papers. Uh, uh, and it could be distributed between all the nations even even if you succeed to kill me if you decide not to support me and just practice for the day of judgment right now right now i'm just working on uh making a real day of judgment for iran regime and iran none of your countries are my concern after iran it would be just the united states of america if, if uh, they choose to act like ignorant more, otherwise I have nothing to do. I have a lot to do to take care of internal issues in my father's land of Persia. Wish you all good luck. Whatever you do, it would be your deed. I'm done and wish you all good luck. مع السلامة من مسقط